The Kilauea Volcanes in Hawaii Spills Fog A can launch dangerous glass shards Hawaii's Kilauea Volcano began erupting last week Winds around the eruption site can carry volcanic smoke and thin glass shards across the Big Island in a fiery and sustained eruption. Hawaii's Kilauea Volcano began spewing lava on August 18, th sending molten rock into the surrounding crater and reaching temperatures as high as 2100 degrees Fahrenheit degrees Celsius according to the U.S. Geological Survey USGS. Kilauea located on the Big Island of Hawaii is one of the most active volcanoes in the world and has been erupting almost continuously since 1983. The USGS briefly considered the eruption at Code Red the highest risk warning level but lowered it to orange the next day because the initial high effusion rate has decreased and no infrastructure is compromised the USGS said in an August 19 statement adding that lava from the eruption was confined to the Lamo crater inside the Kilauea summit. However officials warned Wednesday, August 20 th that high levels of volcanic haze known as VOG from the eruption could spread downwind and potentially affect air quality they added that the eruption may have ejected thin sharp glass fibers called Pele hairs named after Pele Pele the Hawaiian goddess of fire and volcanoes resembling golden straw straws the strands form when gas bubbles in the lava rise to the surface and then cool into gossamer glass needles if Pele's hair is blown by the wind it can irritate people's eyes and skin or contaminate drinking water. The skin from the bursting bubble is blown away and some of the skin becomes stretched into these very long threads sometimes several feet 0.6 meters long or more Don Swanson a former research geologist at the Hawaiian volcano. Observatory told Live Science in 2018 Imagine inhaling tiny bits of glass that's what Pele's hair is like it can inflame and irritate anything it comes in contact with on the first day of the eruption extreme heat from the lava created a vortex that sucked up ash and whipped chunks of lava across the Hala Mau Mau crater and event. The Weather Channel calls a NATO volcano but the USGS refers to it as a vortex or whirlwind. Kalaya's last eruption began in early January and lasted about three months. These volcanoes need to be busy to get these islands out in the middle of the Pacific and they're definitely staying that way. Ken Hun scientist in charge at the USGS Hawaiian Volcano Observatory told Kong to a local news station in Hawaii just as humans have behavioral phases our volcano has behavioral phases that go in and out. Thank you for it.